thought would go well in this category is um, The Boy in the Book, which is also a memoir. Um, it starts off with quite an amazing premise, is the, um, the author, Nathan Peglington. He f buys off eBay a whole set of the Choose Your Own Adventure Pick a Path um, books. Um, and it's a set that was published in the 80s and was really popular and what he does is he when he gets them all he realizes they're all owned by the same child and that that child has written their name on all the books and written notes and a few diary pages um, fall out and um, really express how ups upset and depressed this child was um, at the time and Nathan Peglington gets so obsessed with this kid and tries to find him 20 years later. I think it's a really wonderful story for to think of how um, young people really don't know who they are or what kind of place they're in and, and kind of all feel the same in the same way in a really lonely way and, and Nathan Peglington finds a lot of parallels in his own childhood and um, resolve Come, goes to try and resolve this over this uh, the telling of his looking for this Terence Prendergast, which is the name of the kid who owned the the, um, the series. So yeah, these are three really great books. I think if you had quite a um, precocious uh, teenager in your household that you wanted them to sort of get an idea of these things, it would be yeah. really good, especially if you would talk to them about about it afterwards. Um, if you read are, them first, yeah, read them first. Some of them have got some PG content, but um, yeah, it's a great crossover. Great yeah. reading for us. Great reading for yeah the precocious child. Yes. I'm going to read this one next. Yes, Louise has <laughs> reading it. Okay, so thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I winked. Did you? <laughs>